we the people want to state clearly that Asiwaju Bola Ametinibu is not our president elect. Hello guys, hello people, my people, what that shall never end. Pastor Sarah say hey. Bola Ametinubu no be Nigeria president. He can never be Nigeria president. Make everybody get patient. We they get her back. Now be win for sure. He say this man no win Lagos. He don't win Abuja. He don't win uh, Kaduna. He don't win Kanu. He said the man also win River. He don't win. How he could be president? He said that one even make sense to anybody safe. He said, make we not bother ourselves. He said, people, when they break PVC, make we not stop. He said, this is the level to where they come. So, he said, I don't know what we would do on the 25th of, uh, of February. He said, I resign so many politicians when BT said that place that their house. They bought, they bought that place. He said, I would have sack so many. He said, maybe we would not know. He said, this time now, we would need to resack other ones again. Somebody like, we can need to come out because a woman they contest with weekend and labor party woman we need to vote that woman and uh, many people a uh, Lagos state governor we need to come out that man when they give people ryp for answers till tomorrow they don't arrest anybody for them we don't see her suffer them so today they come again saying love the people get humanity like seriously hey no they could have continued to the vote anything would have seen that labor party people will go feel whole responsible and all of the world they vote now don't be saying that so if you misbehave if you do any and you collect so people when you feel give when they go sit down you tell them say mona call address this thing or call address her for you he said that that kind of people who happen mona watch video may not be like say and they make noise so yeah watch the video my name is benjamin first lady i beg like share share this video to give a lot of people hope i beg i'd like to thank you all for coming out on mass to vote on the 25th of february especially for those of you who voted for the very first time congratulations and well done I would like to congratulate the youth of Nigeria for coming out to take back your country. And yes, you took back your country. Clap for yourselves. I would like to encourage you not to give up. It's okay to have been a little disappointed with the way things turned out, but it's not over yet. God is still at work. And we will have the final laugh. Yes, we the people will have the final laugh. Job chapter 20 verse 4 and 5 says, Do you not know this of old, since man was placed on earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment? The triumphing of the wicked is short. I hear that some of you have decided to destroy your PVCs and never vote again. No, don't do that. That is not right. It's not a good decision. I want you to know that your PVCs last Saturday retired some old politicians and shocked them to the root. To not vote again is to leave some of them that have no business being there to continue. Therefore, you will keep your PVC and go out next Saturday and retire some governors and some members of the state house of assembly who have been there for a long time with nothing to show for it. Yes, go out there and continue the revolution that you started two Saturdays ago. Go on mass. Go. Do not commit suicide. I hear that a little boy of about 14 years committed suicide in Joss. That is really unfortunate and I pray that God will comfort his family. Committed suicide because he said Einek had killed his hope. Please do not exchange your lives for the lives of these old people that have nothing to offer. You have a lot to offer, so stay alive. Don't commit suicide because God will deliver Nigeria. In fact, God has delivered Nigeria. You will not only vote on Saturday, but you will also ensure that your votes are counted and the result posted on the wall and you take a picture of it. That is so important that you take a picture of your polling unit. Ensure that the result is uploaded on the beavers. Those of you who are party agents, make sure you snap the result of the EC8A result sheets. That is going to be the salvation of this election. 
It is the fact that every agent took a picture and send it quickly to your people before, before some monsters invade some places. I speak in parables. Also take videos of any abnormality. We, the people, want to state clearly that Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinibu is not our president-elect. He is, he is the president-elect of Professor Mahmoud Yaqub, of INEC, and of APC. The president-elect of Nigeria will emerge through a free, fair, and transparent process, as stipulated by the guidelines and rules of INEC, from voting to posting, uploading on the beavers, to the servers, to collation, to pronouncement. And hopefully, the president-elect will be pronounced in the daytime, not at night, while we, the people, are asleep. The process is for all the people, not for some of the people. We, the people, are disappointed and embarrassed at the conduct of this election by INEC and by Professor Mahmoud. We are also disappointed at Mr. President Mohamed Buhari for accepting such a result and even going ahead to send your congratulations despite all the assurances by you to conduct a free and fair and transparent election. I dare to say it fell below minimum standard required. <laughs> Mr. President, we were sure you would keep to your words as we had been made to believe that you are a person of integrity. Alas, sir, you have made us a laughing stock of the other African countries and have made our reputation of being a corrupt people worse. Therefore, we the people reject the result of Professor Mahmoud elections. I state again that Asiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinibu is not our president elect. Our president elect is expected to come through a credible process. And no matter who comes out of that process, if the process is followed, we will accept it because the process justifies the end. To that end, I would like to call on all the justices of the Supreme Court or any other judge that will be looking at this case to be free and fair and to look at the justice of the case, not its technicalities. You must fear God and you must honor the wishes of the people of Nigeria. This is our time and chance to lay the foundation for a new and a better Nigeria. I plead with every justice not to compromise and not to sell your conscience. Remember that we will all stand before God and be judged. And we will all have to give an account of what we did in the flesh. On a happy note and on a proud note, we, the residents of Abuja, delivered our country last week <laughs> by refusing to allow the old order, 25% of our votes. We did our part. It is now left for the courts and new justices to do your part. I want to say that the president select did not win Abuja, did not win Lagos, did not win Kano, did not win Kaduna, and we know that he did not win in Portacot. Let justice reign, and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.